Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville YouTube channel. I want to do this video on keeping track of inventory and using a spreadsheet to do so because the bigger your business gets, the more difficult it is to keep track of things. And it's really important to be as organized as possible so you can be efficient, you can get things done, you don't spend a ton of time wondering if you have something in stock or not or wondering where you got it. And it's nice to know when something sells, where would you buy it from, what would you pay for it. So I have up on the screen a blank version of the inventory sheet that I make, or that I made, that I use. Um, and I'll put a link on my website so people can download this spreadsheet, even though it would be super, super simple for you to make yourself. But I'll try and remember to put a link there. Um, I use Google Docs, actually Google Spreadsheets, whatever they want to call it. If you have a Gmail account, you automatically have this. And the reason I really like it is because you can share it with people, you can update it from anywhere, whether you're at home, whether you're at work, on your phone, a tablet, anywhere where you can log into your Gmail account, you can update this. So it's been really handy for me on some of the items that uh, I buy regularly at a store. You know, maybe I'll see it on sale and I want to check, well, do I have any of those still or should I be buying this because it's on sale? So I can check my spreadsheet, I can see what price I had paid for it and how many I have. So um, just real quick, I'll go through each item here. So, um, most of it's pretty self-explanatory, but uh, I do think it's really important to stay organized. And uh, a spreadsheet's a great way to do it. You don't need to pay for some expensive program or anything. Uh, some people would recommend that. Maybe when you get really big, that that's something you'd have to do. But I think I have about, uh, between eBay and Amazon, about 4,000 items listed. And I just go off this spreadsheet. So, uh, And it's really not that difficult. So the first column, A here, is just the item. I typically will copy and paste either the eBay item title I use or whatever the title is on Amazon. The good thing is if you're on Amazon and you're looking at your inventory page, you can highlight the title and copy and paste it here and this becomes a link. So that's A. The second one is some SKU number. It's, I use it as a merchant SKU. Every single item I have, uh, that's a lie. No, well, kind of. Well, whatever. <laughs> Most of the items I have, I assign a SKU number. And it's, it's really important, um, especially for like books. If you don't assign a SKU number, then when you go to do the FBA, of course this is for, I only put my merchant fulfilled stuff here, but um, when you go to send in a shipment, It'll just ran do randomize the order that it's listed in. So now that they want to know what's in every single box, that's a goddamn nightmare. If you numbered your books, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it's going to put them in that order. So as long as you keep them in that order, then when it says it wants book seven going to a different shipment location, you just go to number seven, pull it out. Otherwise, it's random. So you can help yourself out a lot. Um, Amazon, I always use a SKU number. Um, on eBay, I, I'm kind of all over the place on how I do it. Some things I'm numbered, and other things I'll just put the location of the item. Um, and by that, I mean with my storage system, the way I do it, so I know exactly where it's at, and that's where I use the SKU number for. But if you assign SKU numbers, that's what that one's for. Obviously, the UPC code here, and um, what's really nice about it is, if I can find, of course, I don't have anything with the UPC code around me. Let's see. You can use your barcode scanner, and that was a bottle of Windex. Um, so then, like, the nice thing, though, about that is if you're looking for a certain item that's sold and you want to find it on your spreadsheet, you can hit Control-F to get to the find thing you see in the upper right, and then scan it, and it'll tell you. Of course, it didn't work. No, it automatically took off the zero to begin with. Um, you have to format the cells, so it's... Oh, where's it at? Format number, do plain text. Okay, so now I kept my zero there, and now I can go back. And there. See, so not worked. Um, so that helps you be able to find stuff in the spreadsheet. 
And having the UPC code is also nice for doing any kind of searching on eBay or Amazon. Or if you're trying to find more of the product, you can Google search UPC codes and help you find things. Quantity is pretty self-explanatory. Just make sure you update it, whether you're selling it on eBay or Amazon. I always put where I bought the item from in case I want to get more of it. Also, how much did I pay so I know, you know, what kind of profit I'm making off the item. And if it's worth getting more, you know, how to price it. Is it listed on eBay? Just why for yes and for no is how I do this. Um, Amazon, uh, everything on my list is on Amazon. So the only options I put here is, is it FBA? Is it Merchant Fulfilled? Which that's why I just put Merch. Or if it's both, I just do. And then I know I have both an FBA listing and a Merchant Fulfilled listing. Location for me has to do with my storage units, or not storage units, storage shelves that I have. So all of my storage uh, shelves are numbered. Uh, right now I have nine for Amazon items. So one through nine and then shelves. There's four shelves to each one. So I do one through four. So this particular item when I had it in stock was on storage unit two and shelf two, which I should have used something else because two and two makes it a little bit more confusing. But if you have a storage location of any type, you can uh, do that. And I'm going to do a separate video on my um, the way I store items because uh, there's a couple pointers I could give you if you're going to do anything remotely similar to what I do and help you keep organized. This last one I don't actually use anymore but I put it on this spreadsheet. Uh, I used to keep track of the date that things went uh, zero stock that I ran out of them and then depending on the platform but typically, let's say 60 days after I sold the item, if I hadn't got a return and I don't expect to ever have that item in stock, maybe it was a clearance item or just something that I kind of was a fluke, maybe I found it at a garage sale or an auction, and it's just not something I'm likely ever going to get again. Um, then once we got past 60 days, I would just delete the entire row just to get it out of there. Um, Lately, I've been just deleting it anyways, and I, I'll just re-add the row if for some reason the item got returned. But that's the uh, spreadsheet I use to keep track of my stuff. I think my personal one is at, uh, I don't know, a couple hundred lines right now. But as long as you know the SKU number. Oh, another thing with the SKU number. If you are going to double list it on Amazon and eBay, I use the same SKU number for both. Uh, eBay has a spot where you can put in custom SKUs. And uh, that helps you find both of them and keep it coordinated on both platforms. So... I hope this is helpful. Uh, maybe you guys can download this spreadsheet and tweak it to where it fits your exact needs. Or maybe you just create your own. But either way, you really want to keep track of your inventory. Um, Amazon's pretty good at showing it to you in your inventory list, but you might also want to add a column of the date you purchased the item so you know how long it's been sitting. And you might want to come up with a rule. After six months, if it hasn't sold, you start uh, lowering the price or you figure out something else to do with it. So... Anyways, guys, uh, give the video a like. If you're not already a subscriber, subscribe to the channel. We'll talk. Uh, we'll do a storage video here soon and some more sales videos. As soon as it starts getting warm out, I can do some haul videos. Uh, right now it's too damn cold to do them outside, and there's no auctions or there's no garage sales. So uh, I'm just going to hibernate like a polar bear in my house until it gets hot out. So thanks for watching, guys.